What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend. You watching the right video. Don't change this video because I'm about to tell it to you like it is. If you like to hear real stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel, man. It's your big brother, Trend, man. I'm about to go in on this topic right here. And what I'm about to say, you already can feel it. If you don't know it, you can definitely feel it, okay? I think at this point right now, y'all, if you stay in America, everybody can should be able to feel it. Okay, if, if not, then you, you're on a different planet, all right? But right now, y'all, the economy is so bad. It's like when you walk outside, you just want to pass out. People is so broke that they feel like they just want to just die. That's how people is right now. Everybody is struggling so bad that... They don't even want to be friends, man. They don't even want to be friends, man. It ain't even friendly out here no more. This is how bad the economy is right now. And if you've been sitting around wondering, like, man, why why I got financial problems, man? Why is it so hard for me to make a dollar, man? Why, why, why come my bank account is so low, man? Why, why am I like this? Listen, I'm going to just keep it real with you as your big brother trend. It ain't your fault, all right? It is not your fault. You not a broke-minded person. You're not a bum, okay? And if you is homeless watching my video, even you are not a broke person, all right? Listen, we all just seen what happened on national TV with the president, y'all. This man is gone. He's so far gone. He has really, he had damn near lost his mind, y'all. This man is 80 something years old and he still think he got it. He like, he like, yo, he like the, the he, you know, you ever had a parent or an uncle that still be acting like they got it, like they used to be back in the day, and you just be like, sit down, stop. Yeah, I remember, I had it, I had it, man, I, I was doing my thing, I just, bro, y'all ain't doing it like me, so I used to have 15 people used to come to my ball and shop, and they was all sitting over there waiting on me. You had 15 people. I mean, I had 15 people lined up every day. I made 300,000 in one day. You did? Yeah. That's what he like. Joe Biden has messed up the whole country. And I'm the type of guy, I don't like to blame nobody. I don't say you, I don't like to say you did it. You did it because I'm a grown man. I know how to take accountability. If I make a mistake financially or something ain't in my life, ain't, something ain't right for me, I'll say, you know what? I, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. I apologize. But this, damn it, this is the one first time I can proudly say if you got economic issues right now, it is not your fault. If you work in two jobs right now and you wonder why you work two jobs, it is not your fault. If you can barely take care of your kids right now and you know you love your kids, but if for some strange reason, it just seems hard to get a bag together just to provide for them and so they can run around like they're crazy and have a good time. It is not your fault. The reason why this country and this economy is so bad is because of the administration that we've been up under for the four years. Folks, this today is the total sum of all the previous years that we have had to deal with these people in power. They have effed us up, y'all. They have effed us all up. That's why so that's why society is out of shape. Listen, you don't believe me. Listen, it, let me break it down to some of you scholars and astronauts out there, okay? Who probably who probably don't believe what I'm gonna say, all right? But let me break it down to you. If you had the manager of a grocery store and everybody knew he wasn't S H I T, right? He wasn't nothing. He was this mean guy. He didn't care about his employees or nothing. Okay, when you walk inside that grocery store, what is it gonna look like? It's gonna look like mayhem. You're going to see eggs. You're going to see eggs residue on the floor. The shelves going to be unstocked. Uh, you know, you're not going to be able to find what stuff at. Where's the potatoes at? The potatoes are supposed to be over here. They're going to be way over there. People going to have frowns on their faces when they walk through. It's going to be long lines at the checkout and stuff like that. Why? Because the head, the manager, the manager is the problem. He's the overseer of that store. Okay. Anytime you have an anytime you have an establishment, there is always a, a, a boss. And if that place doesn't look right, it's it's because of the host. 
The host messed the whole Airbnb up. Okay, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that the water is not running in that other bathroom. It's the host's fault. He didn't have the maintenance man come fix it. And guess what? Now you frustrated because you can't use that bathroom and the water's not running right. Folks, it's the same thing when you stay in different countries. When you have the president in certain countries, a lot of y'all don't believe this. and A lot of y'all be taking it for granted because some of y'all spiritual people and some of y'all Christian people, some of y'all done lost so much touch with reality because y'all so spiritual. Some of y'all done lost touch with reality, man. You feel me? Oh, man. It, it, man, it's all scripted, man. It's all set up, man. Don't believe them. And what they what they doing is all, they playing a game with us. Don't believe them, man. That's this and that's that and just this. Some of y'all so spiritual, you dumb. Some of y'all so spiritual, you've lost touch with re the very country that you even live in to the point that you don't even believe in voting no more. So, hey, man, don't make real vote, man. They already had it planned and they already got it scripted. And y'all, y'all are, some of y'all is turned to bots. They have, they have manipulated y'all into believing that y'all don't even got a voice. And now people is running around talking about it's all. Uh, and, and the same people that's not gonna go vote, the same people that's not gonna go vote, it's gonna be the same. It's the same people that watched the damn debate the other night. Hypocrites. It's the same people that's gonna be looking to see who's gonna become the next president and stuff like that. They're gonna be turned on TV just like everybody else. Well, who is it? <laughs> who is it? You a hypocrite. You is a hypocrite. You are two faced. You set up here and you say it don't matter. Votes and stuff, voting don't matter. It's all scripted. That's what they want y'all to think so y'all don't go vote. Duh. You don't got to be an astronaut to figure this stuff out, y'all. They are manipulative into making you believe in conspiracy theories to the degree that you don't even feel like you have a voice or you would ever be able to make a difference. That's what they want. If they can keep you silent and shut up, they are winning and you are not winning because you are afraid to talk. You are afraid to believe, step into what you believe in. And you'll just sit back and say, no, no, no. The neighborhood is good. Everything be going good in my house. But what about the whole neighborhood? The, na the whole neighborhood affects you. And this is why the Democrats always win when they do get office. And I don't change my shit now. I ain't even no Democrat no more. I used to grow up because the only reason why I grew up being a Democrat was because my family never believed in it. You know why? Because most of my family depended on government aid and government assistance. I didn't understand why my family and them had belief in uh, the Democrats and Bill Clinton and them and all them. I didn't understand why they believed in these people. I just was following in the pack. That's what, that's what granddaddy liked. Okay, I like it too. That's what daddy and them like. Okay, I'm a Democrat too. I believe in it too. The same thing with basketball team. My whole family like Duke basketball. I don't even know why, but I like Duke too. You know what I'm saying? We just fall. And still to this day, I wear Duke blue. You see how programmed I was? But when I started waking up and realizing what the is really going on, I was like, yo. So basically, most of the time, Democrats just want people to vote for them. They want people that, that want to be dependent on them to vote for them. They don't They don't want people that think for themselves. They don't want people that want to create businesses. They don't want people that want to make fortunes and want to take their family out of poverty. They don't want people that think like Trump. They don't want people to be able to go on vacation trips every single They want to give you a stimulus check. Why? Because they want you to depend on them. This is how that administration above us work. That then they give you stimulus check. You, you can get a little 1200 Don't worry, y'all. We just come in and save y'all. We can get y'all 1200 12 And they still ain't gave us all the money that we deserve when we went through a whole year and a half not getting paid what we supposed to get paid. We still is struggling. We still is behind right now on our bills because they still owe us money and they want us to go continue to vote for them. Huh? I think not, bro. I'm no longer no Democrat no more. Uh-uh, period. I'm trend. This whole country messed up. Y'all just seen proof, bro. God can't get more obvious than that, bro. It can't get more obvious than that. He on the stage. What?
Well, we defeated Medicaid. Couldn't nobody even understand what this man was saying because he can't even speak. He's so old and incoherent. You got to be brain dead if you're going to go vote for this dude again if, and, and put him back in. He old, y'all. I ain't got nothing against older people or nothing like that. But, dog, at some point, it's just like I told y'all, if I was 86 years old and still doing YouTube, y'all should come and just take my cameras away from me and just be like, Trent, just... Just stop, man. Go eat you some ice cream. This mug eating ice cream and stuff. Like, that's what old people do that's retired, y'all. They go they go get ice cream. Come, hey, 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 hey. come on, man. He is a representation of our country, y'all. He's an entity. We are in a collective consciousness. Whether you spiritual people out there and you spiritualists want to believe this or not, you are still on the soul of the United States of America. You are on this here soul. You have to go outside and you have to buy stuff, okay, in the system. You have to pay taxes. You have to pay the RIS. If the police pull you over, your ass going to get pulled over or you're going to jail. You have to abide by the laws. You have to go to court on your court date. You have to do jury duty. If you do, Stop sitting around talking about it. It's all scripted. They ain't doing, they ain't running nothing. But you is here on they soil, you dummy. If you was, if all this stuff that these spiritualist people talk about out there is so real, why you ain't in a different country then? Why you ain't in another country? Why you ain't in Bangladesh then? Huh? Why you ain't in uh, Mexico or somewhere then? Huh? Why you ain't out over there then if you don't even believe in the own soil that you breathe on? It's, this is they shit. It's a plantation. Whether Trump get in there or not, it's still a plantation. They still running this shit. You still going to have to abide by the law and the rules of the book, rule book. It don't matter what you say. Either you get out here and you make a, the little bit of difference that you can, they at least give you a chance to vote. But see, again, some of y'all is so, some of y'all have lost touch of y'all own belief that y'all can make something happen that you're not even going to go vote. But you're going to still be sitting around complaining about who the president and what. And the laws ain't right, and they and they against us, and they against it. Listen, I ain't never been a politician until this mug got into the office. This is the only time I ever paid attention to politics because I'm sitting around thinking like, yo, bro, economy is messed up. I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm I'm like looking around like, what is go? I, I said this years ago on my channel. I'm like, y'all, something ain't right with this economy. I'm like, something is not right, and you know it's not right if. Half of y'all don't even, half of y'all that want to talk to me and book sessions with me, and I know you want to book a session with your big bro Trent. It's so bad, I don't even blame you, but I'm giving my point right now. You can't even book a session with me, not because you don't want to, but because you can't. Because it ain't no money even flowing in for you to book no session with me, and you want to talk to me, but you know you just want, you, you want to use your money to go buy yourself a, a burger, a meal, a platter. You want to take your girl out. You want to do something for personal use. You can't. You ain't got no extra funds to be throwing around and just talk to big bro Trent. I get it. I know I already, but I'm just trying to make this video. I'm not trying to rent. I'm not, I'm not mad, but I'm just saying, this mug has destroyed our country, folks. He's took all of our money that we work for, our taxpayer dollars, and he took it and built wars with it, bro. Build wars. Build wars with it. And wars, y'all. First of all, oh man, this is bad, man. It, it, it is. And what, what, y'all, this mug, these mugs are bots, y'all. What's really sad about it is you still got people in the background like, woohoo, good job. You killed it, Joe. These people are brain dead, y'all. These people are living in 1955. They is so dumb. It ain't even no, they ain't even make the D in the word dumb. They so brainwashed, y'all. You got to be a damn astronaut not to know we don't want this dude running nothing. Because like I say, folks, whether you think it or not, he is the representation of our society. The mug is walking, falling over stuff. He got to have his wife come help him down steps and shit. He can't even walk down steps. He can't even get he can't even do a 90 minute debate he don't even remember what he's saying ain't the country in the same shape of this man yes dysfunctional oh 
can't walk right. We in the we live it under the entity of our president, whether you want to believe it or not. It's just like me in this channel. If you subscribe to my channel and I'm not feeling well, for some strange reason, the energy that's coming from me, it will make you not feel well. And some of y'all be already be knowing when I don't feel well. Some of y'all know when I'm having a bad day. Y'all be like, man, Trent ain't feeling right today, bro. Don't you? You already know. I be seeing the comments sometimes. Trent, you look like you cried this morning. I did cry this morning. Because I was, I was looking at my bank account. I was like, Mr. Biden just teased me. And I ain't blaming it on Biden, but I am blaming it on Biden. He is the rep, man, his business is shutting down left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. You know it's bad when Dollar Generals start shutting down. Dollar Generals? Nowadays, you got more people shopping at, at Walmart than ever before. I ain't never seen, I got Walmart down the street from my house. I ain't never seen this Walmart be packed like a mall. People can't afford to go to Whole Foods. And then when I go to Whole Foods around the other corner, white people in there just... Damn. They looking sad as I don't know what buying that, pro that, 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 that uh, good organic food. I, I guess so. Man. They looking mad. Everybody going through it. Everybody hurting financially. I'm telling you. Rich people is moving from California. Rich people. Seven figure earners is moving from California because the taxes is too bad and the inflation is too high. If rich people is having a hard time and even they struggling, what you make you think of average average Joe feel like? Even rappers is starting to have battles on purpose. I'm not gonna say who what rapper. Rappers is creating battles on purpose so they can get their money up. Yeah. People doing stuff on purpose. TikTokers, Snapchat people, all creating video content where they make you think it's real on purpose. Pop the balloon, script it on purpose. They can get some views, they can get some stats, they can get some money. Everybody is doing, everybody is desperate for some bread, dog. I swear to God, I swear to God. This mug has destroyed this country and if you go out there and vote for that dude still to this day because you just want to your mama them was democrat he was democrat I, mean, I don't care nothing about no democrat or no republican this mug got to go to the nursing home y'all he like that family member that you want to help and they doing they not they not well and they they just dysfunctional like mentally dysfunctional mentally in, incapable of just thinking that's that family member that you love them so much that you want to save them like we got to go up there and get Uncle Tommy, man. Why? Man, he just ain't feeling too good. Man, he getting up. We got to go help Uncle Tommy. And he thinking about driving and stuff, too? We can't let him hurt himself like that. We got to go get him whether he want us to come and get him or not. This is the situation we in now, y'all. It's bad financially. And listen, I'm not cursing nobody finance. But all I'm telling y'all is snap back into reality. Some of y'all Christian folks... Some of y'all religious folks, and don't quote, and don't put no scriptures on the bottom of my video. Don't stop this. Please, y'all. Y'all look corny when y'all do that. Stop putting the scriptures up under the bottom. This is not, I'm not your pastor, boo. I'm not your bishop. I'm not your deacon. This ain't church and I ain't preaching. I'm talking. Some of y'all got to snap out of the twilight zone and come back to reality and realize that you, you still got to pay your bills. And, you, and some of y'all sitting around here talking about, I believe in the Lord. The Lord going to do this for me. And you're broke. You're broke. You don't got no pot to piss in. You don't got no money flowing in. Probably don't even got a job. And you're sitting around talking, God is going to provide for me. No, you ain't working. You ain't going out doing nothing. That's why you ain't got no money in your pocket. Because you talking about God. You want God to do everything for you instead of exercising your faith and going to do it 50-50 and meet them halfway. Get your butt up and make some things happen, bro. People ask me why I get here. How I get so many subscribers. How why you got a YouTube channel trend. They just hate on me for no reason. The same people that's hating on me was the same people that was watching me walk around with a camera every single day for the past five, six, seven, eight years. They never say nothing about me. 
They never want to ask me how I got, why I'm carrying that camera, nothing. Now I'm on TV. But this is how people do you. This is how people do you. Because they don't really understand the work you got to put in to get to where you be. They just see the, in the result. Oh, he just think he all that. Because he, he just think he all that. Because he be talking on YouTube. No, I, I was this before even y'all even arrived. I was doing this when I ain't have no subscribers. I put that work in. So I'm telling you, as a, a spiritual person, your God is not going to help you if you just don't work. God is not the type of guy he going to support you if you lazy. Period. How y'all girls do it? Period. Period, girl. Period. 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 No. If you continue to let this guy run in that run in that position and y'all put him in that office again, you're gonna really be on your period. <clears throat> gonna be blood everywhere, gonna be massacre everywhere. People gonna get mad, You're gonna start taking what you got. So I'm influencing you today. I ain't holding back. I ain't being like these other YouTubers out here. No, I'm not, I'm not this. Don't vote for him, y'all. Y'all about to vote for Trump. I'm saying it like that. You don't have to be a politician. You don't gotta like Trump. He got 34. He got 34 felonies. And so what? Some of my best friends used to be felonies, and they was happy and nice when we was kicking it. I ain't give a damn that they had a felony or not. But guess what? They had money in their pockets. They was able to buy me something when I was hungry. They was able to put me on game, even despite their circumstances. Y'all have been talking about, yeah, felony, yeah, felonies. You a square, you a square. People, some people, that, people talk down on people that got felonies and charges against. Yeah, everybody find themselves in a position that, that they, they didn't know they was going to be in it at one point. But that don't mean they not smart. They just was better than, they just took risk and got caught. So what? I'd rather have a guy that with 34 felonies how do, you you already know they pinned that against him. That shit don't even make no sense. These people doing time in federal jails right now with two felonies for doing something that they did and they in the jail for the rest of their life. How is he still out with 34 felonies? 36, whatever it is. Because they pinned it against him on purpose so that people like y'all can sit up here and use that as an excuse as to why y'all don't like the man. They just pro they just do they doing all this shit around Lexington Town because they don't want him to be in there. They want they want to do like Sleepy Joe in there, who take all your money and go make a war with it, who raise the prices on the gas and inflation, make it to where you can't buy bread, make it to where you be struggling, you can't feed your kids, you be squirming for money and you be aggravated and frustrated and agitated because you ain't got no money. Joe Biden did that. Joe Biden did that. So you can hate me all you want. I'm telling the truth, man. It's your big bro trend, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video today. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you think. If you want to book a session with me, book a session with me, man. With that being said, y'all stay peaceful today. Y'all have a great weekend. I'm out. Peace.